The next citizen is uh, Mr. Philip Singletary. Please come forward and state your name and your address, please. yourselves in our place. It may not be in y'all's backyard, but it could be because I've been, we also have been doing a lot of research. They run spurs off these things. And there's nothing in Georgia right now large enough to run off this 36 inch cast line. That's why I was going to a power plant in Florida. And, and it's coming out of Alabama. And I was just curious, we can't find out why it's in the cannot stay in Alabama and then catch the panhandle and come off. That was one way you could get up there. And the second is, why couldn't you run some more interstate roads like 84, 82? I understand you can't run interstate, but you can also run these side roads like 84 if the right-of-ways are big enough, and which most of them are. That was a thought. And uh, I'd just like to be considered just being in your backyard, your families. These things have catastrophic failures all the time. I just read today where they anticipate the largest fine in economic, I think I'm put up here. Um, when they mess up the land, what they call it? Um, environmental. environmental impact. It's like $15 million for PCB cleanup. And it's going to take over two years to clean this up. But the pipe, some, whatever they coat the pipe with, puts PVCs in the ground. This company is awful. They're terrible people. They have to change. They, was, they used to go under um, Spectrum. That was their name before. They got so nasty. And they have been used so much. If you just go to YouTube, you can see gas explosion after gas explosion. And the size pipe, this pipe here, can take out a width of two football fields when it goes off. It's, it's devastating. So anybody in that area will not survive it. And it will be in people's front yards. I know the gas line from all the way from Brooks County all the way to where it goes into Florida. I followed it. And it goes through a lot of homes. It goes close to the school goes to the landfill. I don't know how they're going to go around it. I guess they're going to go through the landfill. That open up a whole new avenue of that closed landfill down there. And I just encourage y'all that as, as individuals, you can uh, file complaints with the uh, Federal Energy Regulation Commission as individuals and commissioners. Y'all would just write a letter to them saying you oppose this because there are meetings they have is not formal uh, where we can question and answer, get answers from these people. They keep us all divided, and we cannot hear, our, hear his question or her question. We cannot, they keep us separate. They wouldn't know where to even sit down. You know, it, it was uh, very uncomfortable, and it was, it was all safe with trail. And we talked to them, oh, they just run us in circles. It was just like a pre-programmed speech. They it was just over and over, and I just uh, hope we can set up a meeting with these people Y'all can be there and y'all can hear the citizens and maybe y'all can see the impact it's going to have on us as, as homeowners and individuals and families if y'all would just consider that. You know, if y'all do that for us, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 